Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and cover a little bit of my Grim Dawn character that I'm going to go ahead and be playing in the new expansion. I believe it's called Grim Dawn Ashes of Mal... Malmoth? Malmouth? I don't know the exact name. Don't don't spite me, please. Uh, but anyway, um, so the character I want to go ahead and make is going to be a Vitality um, Summoner that is going to be based around Necromancer and Occultist. Now, the reason why we're playing Necromancer and Occultist is because Necromancer is one of the new classes that I really wanted to check out. Um, and it's got really cool summons with it on top of having... Well, basically, you have the Skeleton Summons that you can see here. You get to scale them with... Um, actually, this technically doesn't scale them. This actually allows you to have more minions, which is cool because originally with Occultist, you don't really have, like, a plethora of minions. You kind of just scale a few of them, like three or four. But I think Necromancer really adds to the bulk of minions that you can have. Um, you can also, as you see here, uh, I can't really show you. I don't know how to use the calculator too well. But you can scale kind of like Diablo 2 if you guys are uh, familiar. Or even Path of Exile. You can go past the normal base of skills with plus to skills um, uniques and legendaries and whatnot. So this is the character that I've got. It's going to be a Necromancer that goes 50 points in. So you would grab your Raised Skeletal Minions, your Undead Legion, your Will of the Crypt, uh, which will convert their damage to Vitality. Uh, well, part of it. You'll have a Summon Blight Fiend manually. I believe he's to tank and kind of taunt targets. He also does have a chance, for example, of reducing the defensive ability, fumbling, imp impairing their aim. I, I think that's like reduced chance to hit. Uh, and then there's Blight Burst. You're pretty much just getting one point in these just to have essentially the proc chances. Uh, one point in Spectral Binding, and you'll probably go one point in Spectral Wrath as well, uh, just because, again, you will have plus the skill levels, and that will scale them greatly. Uh, Call of the Grave is going to be like your, basically like an oh shit button that you click, which is not really an oh shit button, it's more of like super deeps for your minions. Uh, then I've got one point in Mark of Torment, because it should help a bit with damage mitigation on bosses, assuming it actually works this well. Then in the Occultist Tree, we're going to grab our Curse of Frailty and our Vulnerability. Again, just to go ahead and explain it, the reason why I don't have points maxed in these is this is just an outline for the tree. Uh, everything is pretty much scheduled, scheduled to change depending on what I find. Uh, but more importantly, skills sometimes lose effectiveness as they go past their maximum level. So if you have a skill that's 18 out of 10, maybe those eight, those extra 8 points only gave it like 10% scaling because it's now over its max level. Uh, we also go with vulnerability because the first curse, this basically reduces their uh, <clears throat> this reduces their movement speed and fizz resist, and vulnerability reduces their vitality res, which is great. Uh, Blood of Dreg will probably end up going more points in this. This is going to be one of our main sources of healing. It's also going to help heal the minions. Um, the more points you invest into this, on top of that, it actually increases the health per second scaling, and it increases the percentage of healing, which is very good. Uh, Aspect of the Guardian is nice because it just gives you physical damage reduction and poison and acid resistance. Hellhound is going to be one of our other main minions. I'm not really too sure how much damage it's going to do, but it does have a nice physical damage chunk which will scale off of our curse. And then a portion of that is going to be converted, sorry I don't think I even showed this, uh, from the Necromancer node Master of Death. Master of Death will give to your minions huge scaling stats along with physical damage being converted to vitality, which helps you scale it. Uh, we just go one point into their other skills again, because we get plus to all scaling, uh, and this should just help a little bit. And then we have Bonds of Bismal, which I think is the most retarded buff in the entire world for pets, which gives 100% health, also increases their regeneration. Remember that we're going to get even higher the health than this because of the uh, plus the skill scaling. And then Manipulation, which gives total speed and all damage. Now, I'm going to have to pause the music here so you guys can actually understand this to explain how dumb this is. Total speed in Grim Dawn attributes to the movement speed, attack speed, and cast speed. And I guess how frequently my, my cat meows as well. So that's why you really want to get total speed in this game because it scales every aspect of your minions. So now, now that that's kind of been covered, uh, I don't know exactly how you would allocate your points. That's kind of up to you if you want to play Occultist first or if you want to play Necromancer first. I want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit on the Devotion Tree. Now, I can't show you the order to get these in either. 
uh, because it's kind of complicated, but I want to just show you what I'm building around so you can take a look at it for yourself. So uh, let's start with the beginning. We're going to go ahead and build into Mr. Scorpio because we need the green bonus. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it green, Eldritch. It also gives Scorpion Sting, which the only thing you really need to look at on Scorpion Sting is the reduced target's defensive ability for five seconds because that basically shreds their defensive ability, and that's really good because you can attach it on your minions. Next up, uh, I'm going to go with the Bonds of... Is it called Bonds of Biz? No, Shepherd's Call? I don't know what it's called. We're called Shepherd's Call. Shepherd's Call is insane because it gives you 210% damage to your pets along with crit damage. I haven't decided if we're going crit yet. I have to really play the character to understand that. Some other good ones that we're going to go with, which are mainly filler nodes, which would be Empty Throne, which is going to be some all res to everyone, including well, our pets and myself, and then Toad, which is literally just a filler. It doesn't really pose for anything. So some of the big ones that we're going to be grabbing is going to be, for example, Typhos. Typhos gives us armor and pet scaling armor. Uh, vitality damage, which is useless for us. Poison and acid resistance, which is very good. Uh, physical resistance to us, physical resistance to our pets and total speed. Um, I gain health, my pets gain health, and then we get another steroid of 120% vitality damage, which is pretty nice. The largest one we're going to get is Mogdrogan the Wolf, which gives us offensive ability, uh, which is useless for us, but pet scaling. Or again, mainly all we're looking for is pet scaling and defensive aspects for us. 30% uh, all damage, 6% total speed for the pets. Uh, this is garbage. 80% all damage to pets. We get maximum bleed resist, which is very good. And then we get Howl of Mog Drogon, which actually gives us a 40% total speed haste, which is retarded, and offensive ability by percentage, which will help with scaling crit. One of the defensive ones we pick up is Behemoth. Behemoth gives us life regen, health, health to our pets, Giant's Blood, which procs on one of our defensive buffs, which basically when we get hit, um, when we get hit, there's a 15% chance for us to heal a shit ton um, of flat health along with a large percentage and then health over time. And then here is just general health scaling and health regen scaling. So on the top side, we also have two things to cover. So I have Staff of Ratosh, which gives us defensive ability, uh, Aether Res for ourselves and our pet, 150 flat health to me, damage to our pets, uh, more damage to our pets, crit damage and percentage offensive ability for our pets, uh, and then vitality res from the pets, and then defensive buffs for us. And the last one to go into is Ulo, the Keeper of Waters, which is resistance, um, just general health, poison and acid resistance, chaos resistance, and then cleansing waters, which is the main reason why I picked it up, which I haven't decided what skill to attach to it. Um, the unfortunate thing about minion builds is you are going to have to put like one point into certain skills to proc these abilities, but other ones can be used defensively, so it's okay. But for example, this is a cleanse. So one good thing to use for it is if you notice your minions, since we are going to have like a bolst, you know, like a decent amount of minions, um, I can just aim a skill at where the minions are, target it, and this will cleanse the minions every 20 seconds. So this would be the purpose of it. So it's more of like an active summoner as well. So that's pretty much all been talked over. So I want to show you guys a set bonus. So... The set that we're going to be going for is going to be called The Lost Soul. Now, this is a website called Grim Tools, and I'd highly recommend if you're new to check out this website. Anything that says Ashes of Malmouth or Malmoth at the bottom of it means that it's new to this expansion, so don't expect to get these anytime soon. This specifically is an item level or level 94 set if you look at the bottom, um, so don't expect this like to be acquired anytime soon, but I just want to show you guys what you're kind of aiming for. So the Lost Soul set, if you look at it, gives insane amounts of everything, but we're not going to go over every single one of these items. We're just going to go ahead and go over the set effect. So the set effect for this gives us 200% vitality damage, 15% max health, percent offensive ability, vitality damage, vitality decay, which I don't think helps us too much, raise skeleton, uh, which is going to be our main summon. 
summon Hellhound, which is our other main summon, and we actually gain the ability to have multiple Hellhounds so we can have two, which I think is going to be huge for the build. So that's a four-piece set you can see here. There's the Mantle of Lost Souls. Now remember that they give a pet bonus as well as a set bonus on top of that. So with the new items that have come out, it's just absolutely ridiculous with all of the cool things that you can do. Um, one other thing is since this character may not be the most defensive character, I really have no clue. I thought of an offhand to use, which is actually a really sick offhand because it gives pet bonuses along with giving a kind of like a, like not a reincarnation, um, but it gives you basically when your health drops below 30%, you have uh, you basically immediately jump up and heal 40% so you jump back up to 70% life and gain damage absorption for one second. The reason why I like this is because this is a pet item that still gives me a ton of defensive bonuses. But anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. I'll give you guys the Grim Calc link uh, in the description down below so you guys can look at this. I apologize about my pet. Uh, he's being really bad today and there's really not much I can do about it. Um, so, I mean, let the show go on. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope to see you guys tomorrow during the expansion. Uh, it is going to be, for, I think it's $18. Uh, and maybe I may have some additional codes to give away. I'm not really too sure yet. We'll find out as well. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.